Here he is, everybody. Eric Berry, come on. There's, uh, there's been a lot of bad things happening in the world, and I'd, uh, I'd like to talk about some good things, if that's okay with you guys. Was that all right? Yeah. So Victoria's Secret made history last year by hiring the world's first model with Down syndrome. Yeah, give it up for that. <laughs> Which I think just goes to show you that with enough determination, men will masturbate to anything. <laughs> now, I know you're saying that's messed up, but it's true, okay? It's true. I personally know that what I just said is true. Okay? Don't, don't act like you don't have a fetish for girls with Coke bottle glasses who only like the green M&Ms, okay? Come on. Yeah, look, her, her tits don't have Down syndrome, you know? Like, I'm, I'm all for diversity, you know, but I think we should have some standards, right? Like, I don't exactly think we need a special needs program for the airline industry, right? We don't need the plane going down because the pilot mistook the control panels for Twix bars. That's not a thing. Thank you. All right, Eric Berry. <clears throat> Welcome, Eric. How are you? I'm very out of breath. Why are you so out of breath? I had to... I, uh, my Grubhub got hacked, and I was talking to the customer service in the other alleyway, and then... Wow. I can't lose that $45, I you love know? this new chaotic alleyway. It's added <laughs> such an interesting element to the show. We, we need to get a camera back there. There right? is a <laughs> lot going on back there. I heard people are making hot dogs and selling them. There's like side businesses happening. Popsicles. A lot that I won't get into. Who knows what's being <laughs> sold for sale in the new rabble-rousing alleyway behind uh, the mothership. There's people... And you're out there ordering dinner. No. <laughs> It got hacked by somebody in Philadelphia, ordered from Teddy's Pizza, and I had to take care of that. I was on the phone with customer service, and then they said my name. So. Damn. How do you get hacked like that? What I, do you, I what don't do you know. think I, you did? Have you been just clicking on links that are I, sent to I you? Did, I did get a... Uh, I recently signed up for a Pornhub premium, and I'm thinking that... Yeah. Uh, Why would you do that? You know... <laughs> Yeah, what, what are you not I, getting off of the, the thousands of hours of porn on porn? I, uh, to where you, you have know, to go I like premium? to support the sex workers, you know? Seriously, this? though, what, what are you getting on premium? What are you looking at? If we were to look it's at a, your search history, what a, exactly would it be? Um, well, I recently have been uh, chatting with a lady who said that she might have a pregnancy scare, and then that sent me down to prego porn. Um, Wait, you were chatting with a lady that you've had sex with that said that you may have no, gotten her pregnant? No, we just matched on Tinder, and she was... Uh, Afraid that someone else got her yeah. pregnant? And that was enough to send you down a, sound I a, try, I, I a find fucking rabbit hole? Of I try to find inspiration wherever I can in the world, you know? That's Prego porn's free, though. No one's paying for that shit. I... I I should say, like, without... Yeah, you're like, you're like I'm gonna pay for a premium. I want ten months pregnant. I... Give me twin. Give me somebody loaded up with twins. Yeah, I want them really two, pregnant over here on premium. Two for the price of one with the prego porn. The Incredible. um, has there ever been a prego porn where the woman uh, goes into labor and it turns into a child porn immediately? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just riffing here, people. I don't know. Usually I, squirters. There wasn't a. I, <laughs> I should say is like uh, not to force the issue, but. In terms of my, like, I, I used to be a gay for pay sex worker. Wow! Yeah. So. Finally! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I've been trying to fucking interview humans up here for the last hour straight, and I've been getting nothing. Uh, the last guy ran around other continents, and now here we have hit the fucking lottery. <laughs> gay for pay, Eric Berry. Let's talk about Please. it. Please. Is that gonna be in the clip? Gray for God, God. Oh, okay, good. The clip. You're afraid of Instagram? This whole thing's going to exist for eternity. <laughs> Every second of it. I love it, Eric Berry. So let's talk about it. Um, yeah. You're not gay at all? I, I'm, I mean, I'm uh, gay enough that I got paid enough money to take some cocks, but like, uh, no. I, Jesus. I know you're, you're gay or yeah, not. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we know you're that gay, 
But I'm saying yeah. before that, where, did you ever do no, anything gay? I, no, actually, and I was, uh, I talk about this in my stand-up, but uh, yeah, I was actually a virgin the first time I ever went into that whole situation. How did you end up in that situation? Um, the short version is uh, Craigslist used to have a, a erotic service that Brian knows. Yeah. Uh, uh, I miss it. <laughs> Rest <laughs> in peace. Fucking Craigslist? <laughs> Craigslist had an erotic services section, Jesus. and uh, it turns out college is very expensive in the U.S., you, you know? You ended up on Craig's Fist. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, just a reminder, that sound that sounds like gay sex is actually, is actually Tom Segura after breaking his arm playing basketball. A little fun fact. Only here at Kill Tony do we use that sound effect when we're talking about two men fucking because Tom Segura, that's ju just him. <laughs> holding his arm. Just one man sounding like two guys fucking. So, uh, here we go. Gay for pay, you ended up doing it. So what was the first one like? How old were you? You talk about this oh, like dude, it was decades ago. I've, yeah, I'm 37. Okay. Yeah, this was, uh, whatever, decades ago. <laughs> um, You're like 18? I, I literally, the ad said, just turned 18, UC Berkeley freshman, former high school football player, never been with a guy. And like you with see Berkeley, so you're like around San Fran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. God, Jesus! And it was, oh my God, that's like an ad being "I'm a leprechaun, end of the <laughs> rainbow, pot of gold, come <laughs> find me." Everybody would literally be like, "Wait, what? Let's go." <laughs> San I, Fran. <laughs> I, I, I shit you not. Within like 15 minutes, my inbox was like, "Oh yeah," <laughs> just full. And uh, <laughs> is that what you call your asshole? <laughs> it was yes. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's the outbox. Uh, I think the inbox is the the mouth or something. How much did you how, like? How much did you charge? And is it buy flowers or is it wrenches? Because you're a guy or like what is it? It depends it on what it was. Like I've actually never had a dick in my ass. Most commonly, guys want to pay to blow you. Um, so Wait, yeah. What? Yeah. Really? Was that yeah. was that the first job that you had? Was the guy who wanted to blow you? Uh, no. The 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 first the first the first, first one was a dick in the ass. Re real real. <laughs> Come on, answer I, the question. I got, no, 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 no. The, the, don't, the, don't leave me hanging. The first here. one was supposed to be it was supposed to be a nude massage, uh, and the, it was a wife that contacted me. She said her and her husband wanted a nude massage. Hell yeah! And I a thought that was fucking Jelaine Maxwell. Over <laughs> there. Yeah, totally, totally not gay at all because I'm a woman. I I thought I was like dipping my kids into the kiddie pool of prostitution, and I took uh, Bart, the public transit over there. The husband picked me up and in the car on the way to the place said, oh, uh, I forgot to tell you, we couldn't find a babysitter for the kids. So my wife took the kids to the movies and it's just gonna be you and me. Oh, and, shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How's it going, Ron? You doing good? I'm terrified, dude. Right. <laughs> I'm terrified. So he picks you up, you're in the car, he tells you that. And I'm like, fuck, was, you know, did the wife ever exist, whatever. It was, it was supposed to be $200 an hour for two hours. So we get there, clothes come off, I'm nervous as hell. He's my age now, uh, and I'm j I just turned 18. I'd never seen like a full-grown naked man in front of me before. Yeah. And uh, I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm a virgin. So you've, at this point in your life, you've never been with a woman. You're not I, talking about your anal virginity. You're talking all around, full gold star virgin. <laughs> I had had my dick sucked, but that was by a woman. Um, but that was who cares? Like, so <laughs> <laughs> get back to the two hundred dollars an hour for two hours, man. So, that is fucking amazing. This, this is this is one hundred percent true. Just so it ends up just being the the nude massage pleasantly, and when it com comes time to get paid, it's two hours. I'm thinking four hundred dollars an hour, and the guy starts pulling out twenties, and it's one, two, three. Four, five, and he stops there. And I'm like, it's supposed to be two hundred dollars an hour. We're here for two hours. Yeah, you're like, and, give me my money, my asshole. Hurts. My, my, I'm mortified. I'm just fucking terrified. You know, feeling homophobic thoughts, all sorts of fucking stuff. Oh. That's what I'm and, going through right now. And, and then, and then, and then. <laughs> <laughs> fucking amazing. Keep going. Keep going. So. He sees, he sees the look on my face, and he's like, 
hold on, I think I have something. And he runs back to his bedroom and he comes back 100% true. He gives me three $5 coupons to in and out No way. 100% true. No way. No, but I knew where I was going to have dinner that night. Could have been Whataburger. 100% true. Yeah. What? And that's one of many so he stories. Fucked, he fucked you twice. Yeah. Yeah. Three five dollar coupons to In and Out after he the saddest story I've ever heard. I've never Here thought you about go, kid. Uh, Here you go. I know your ass is, is leaking right now, but I hope you hope you like animal. I know you like doggy style, but go animal style. Uh, here's some. I know I, that I just went in and out of you, so here's some in and out. Oh my God. Have I mentioned that if you go to Talkspace.com and use the code Tony, you can talk to a therapist? Eric Barry, what an amazing interview you are. Holy shit. You just, you just go. Yeah. There's all there's. I can't even imagine. That is the tip of the iceberg, my friend. So after that, did you just go crazy and like, oh, I'm doing this every day, multiple right. guys a day? Because that's how it happens. Like in Wolf of Wall Street, he starts off with penny stocks. The next yeah. thing you know, he's fucking like the king of everything, right? You just have shit going in and out of your ass. Cash flowing like in that scene in Scarface where they're just printing money and laughing, except there's dicks everywhere. It's, uh, yeah, it got, it got to be a little bit uh, addictive. Um, ah, yeah. it puts the dick in addictive. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, man, it was, it was uh, I think the most I ever got paid was the only time I've genuinely ever had intercourse with a guy is a guy paid me 1200 bucks to fuck him in the ass, made me dinner, and then... Wow, uh, yeah. made you dinner, didn't even give you coupons. That's incredible. <laughs> How romantic. That's incredible. Eric, here's a big joke book. Amazing set. Very fun interview. Funny I appreciate it so much. Very, very fun. Eric Barry. Pull another name out. 